Yellow Buckets presents The Twelve Toasty Reviews of Christmas What's up guys, this is Hunter and uh, Drew. What's going on comrades? Welcome to another Toasty <laughs> Review for the Twelve Toasty Reviews of Christmas. How's it going? And uh, yeah, today I'm joined by Hunter Yellow Buckets. Hey. And uh, we're doing another Flying Pig uh, milkshake review. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go see uh, the new Star Wars movie. Yeah, we're actually outside <laughs> of the movie theater right now. going to go check out uh, Last Jedi. But um, yeah, we got some shakes here. Not necessarily holiday related, guys, but... Um, if you want to go check them out, uh, they got plenty of gifts last minute. If you got them last day or two before Christmas, get some chocolates, some candy, gift cards, whatever. Right, exactly. You know. And they're like right in the middle of the shopping hub of downtown Boulder. Yeah, I'll throw some pictures and little clips in from uh, when we went and did the review before. But uh, let's get right into it. Hell yeah. What so do you got today? I got a uh, key lime pie uh, smoothie. So in the, in the spirit of uh, Toasty Review... And Christmas time. <laughs> I mean, we're about to go see a movie, and you know the movie theater's not about to let us let this in, so I'm about to destroy my brain with this. Oh my god, chan Oh, <laughs> it's turned into a challenge, I didn't even know. Uh. So I wanted to save some, so I had something to drink, but I pretty much drank more than half of that, and it's coming on, guys. Woo. I got a red... <laughs> <laughs> I got red velvet, um... Red Velvet Shake. So, it's thick. Like, if you guys can see, like, this shake's going nowhere. It's, it's thick. Mm -hmm. Um, but Red Velvet, so, should just taste like oh a... God. Are you all right, bro? I'm good, it hurts. Well, let's see what I got here. <laughs> Whoa. Good? Wow, yeah. Hell yeah. It's got like a... Like a caramel... <coughs> Like um, really? No butterscotch. Fuck it's yeah. Butterscotch. It's like butterscotch. A little bit of like sweet vanilla. Um, I don't know. What, do you know what necessarily goes into a red velvet cake in general? Um, um I, I typically don't. Yeah, I, I know I it's a really. Or yeah, it's a really rich cake. It's like that. Obviously, it's red, and it, mm -hmm. it's like that. It's the red mix. Shit, you can get Betty Crocker of it and shit. I've made a couple red velvet cakes. I don't really yeah. know what it is, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause, um, I honestly just want to try something I never had. And it yeah. seemed kind of, not festive, but sweet and holiday treat related. So. We got dessert ones. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, and desserts, know. holidays, I mean, they go hand in hand, even though they don't, but it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I just, you know, figured we'd just try something from a good local spot. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, if you're in town here, Beloit. Uh, check it out. It's a great place. Um, mm -hmm. Right on Grand Street. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Grand. East yeah. Grand, downtown Beloit. Hell yeah. Um, All right, guys. Well, in my ranking for this, although it did just completely like yeah, how's it for brain. like? Does it taste like the like exactly like the pie? It or? tastes like key lime pie as you'd expect it in like a piece of candy. Nice. Know? Or like if you ever had like a, one of those chewy key lime pie candies. Right. Fuck yeah. Yeah, no, definitely what you'd expect key lime pie to taste like. Obviously, it's not like pie quality, right. but it's it's worth it. It's definitely Man. it's not bad. In fact, I'd give it like I'd give it three and a half toasties out of five. That's nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm, I've have not been dis <laughs> I have not been disappointed from Flying Pig. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this a four out of five to to toasties. Awesome. Because I mean. Although, you know, it's just like butterscotch and vanilla, and a little bit of sweet, like almost berry, right. almost. Maybe not, maybe I'm just tasting that. <laughs> but, um, it's good. It could and be I, like the icing. Yeah, you know? Yeah, because like, yeah, I think that's where the sweet, like the vanilla is coming from. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's got like a cream kind of flavor. Yeah, that's good. Icing. Fuck yeah. So, I haven't, like I said, yet to be disappointed by Flying Pig, so go check them out any time of the year, not just for Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, comrades. This has been, this is actually the wrap up for the main toast of your reviews. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a special Christmas Eve video, making Santa some cookies. And then after that, it's day 12. Day 12. The finale. So thank you guys for tuning in. Yep. Appreciate all of your likes, man. I mean, our like our page got a huge boost recently which yeah. is really cool to see it had been a second since growth so but yeah thank you so much for watching guys thanks to the regulars yeah, thanks for all thing. the good comments too really appreciate that from everybody that's been watching all the all the reviews so far and yeah content in general yeah, we appreciate pretty much. that also really uh thank you guys to the regular stream watchers you guys are awesome yeah we're gonna be getting back into the streams yeah. too by the way just for a quick uh i've got a i've got a side note here i've got like a list of some games i want to stream my problem is getting OBS 
this to work like mm -hmm. in the way I want it to though. I could just use a capture card. That's that's possible too, but I don't know. There's something about OBS on my laptop specifically that's just not working. If anybody's right. really good with OBS and doesn't mind helping us out, hit us up. Mm -hmm. But thanks, comrades, and thanks, bro, for joining in for this yep, toasty yep. review. It's been great, man. Hell yeah. And we'll see you, comrades, later. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Gucci.